It was the end of April 2011, and we'd travelled to the Lake District in order to avoid the insanity of the Royal Wedding. However, we'd found some of our own. Here's Chris to explain more. We um, woke up at a time that I didn't know existed before. Oh, really? We got in the car. We drove here. How do you feel right now? A little bit spaced out. <laughs> I have to admit, my brain... We're, we're being attacked by this mallard. Um, I think it's blowing this carrot out of it, but... But I'm thinking better of it. I'm not, but now you're just encouraging him. I mean, now, now he's just not going to leave us alone. I mean, I'm not anti-mallard. I'm just, I just think they have their place. You've got to stop. Stop feeding the mallard. Look at it, it's going mental. It's having... It's going high. It's having a sugar rush. Look, it's out of its coat and his mind. Look. That's what Frosties are for. It's like snorting that stuff. Go on, go away. No. <laughs> After a quiet evening spent chasing ducks, the next morning we decided to attempt the impossible. So, 9.30 in the morning. Uh, what are we doing, Chris? We're about to walk up. Well, we just left the Bear Grylls Walkers Bar. <laughs> and uh, we're now, oh, sound like a car. We're now at the foothills of some mountains uh, over here. Uh, these, these are mountains. Th those over there. Those, those ones there. Right. The high things. <laughs> um, and we're we're about to walk up those uh, with the aim of getting up Scaphol Pike, which Toby, in a quick Wikipedia search two days ago, at about Thank eleven you. in the That's evening. Me discovered was the highest peak uh, in England. The highest peak in England and possibly the world. And possibly the world. I it think hasn't been confirmed yet. No. Um, but, but we're going to measure it. We're going to measure it. <laughs> on the way up. Toby's got a metre rule. Yeah. <laughs> One of those rolly things. The rolly things. Yeah. Um, and we're going to get up. I mean, at the moment, we're basically as low down a mountain as you could possibly get. Back, back there. Back there. It's where the sheep hang out. Yeah. And... Uh, well, I'm feeling a bit sleepy already. <laughs> Hopefully we'll do all right. Hopefully. Good luck to you. Thank you. And you. I'll see you at the top. Right, right. So Chris, how do you feel? We're at the highest point in England. Well, we're not now. Yeah. Seems slightly. I I prefer to be down low actually. Yeah. yeah. You like it? I prefer it down it around. No, I don't prefer it where the sheep are. Yeah. You're scared of ducks though. There's no ducks up here. I'm really scared of ducks. Uh, I'm expecting one to come out of the stones. But yeah. But it's pretty high up here. Um, There's quite a lot of people, isn't there? Quite a lot of people. Um, we found some sausage sandwiches and and some fresh garden vegetables and some fresh garden vegetables. Cold, nice. Mhm. Mm um, we can see the sea. We can see the sea. Um, and what we've got to look forward to now is um, the 
you know. That was back then. So here we are back home. <clears throat> How did you find um, walking up Scaifel Pike? Scaifel Pike was, in many ways, a bad idea. <laughs> it was knackering, there were hills that high, we discovered some sort of lost world. Uh, Which was spectacular, but you were so dehydrated at that point. I was a little bit pissed off by that stage, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> the the lack of water. Yeah. Um, or or kids kids back at home always always take water. Take a lot. Take of a lot water. of water. You need more than you think is necessary. How many hours were we on the hills for? It was it was nine, wasn't it? Nine we hours. Were, we were walking. We were walking for eight of those nine hours. Yeah. With one tiny bottle of water. Yeah. Um. And and. A copy of the Wind Up Bird Chronicle. Yes. Um, yeah. And uh, Andrew Marr's The History of Modern Britain. Um, Next time, we won't take books, we'll take water. No, no, because in the wilderness, knowledge doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> and that's our final word that's, of advice. That's what I've learned. For the kids back home. Well, it's been a pleasure. I'll see you again sometime. I'm